Hello friends, this video on continuity and differentiability part 3 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 2. There are two kinds of functions. One function, the graph can be plotted, plotted spelling is wrong, so without lifting the pen. And in second case, the graph can't be plotted without lifting the pen. So what I mean I'm tell you, so let's suppose we have this graph and let me take y is equal to x graph, let's suppose. So if you see y is equal to x graph is something like this, pass from 0 to 0. So you can plot this kind of graph without even lifting the pen. I started from this point, I didn't even lift my pen and I can plot the graph. Let's take one more example. I have a graph y is equal to 2 for x is greater than 1 and y is equal to 3 for x is less than or equal to 1. So this is my x 0, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4. And let's suppose this is 2, 1, 2. Now the question says for x is greater than 1, it is 2. So from here, it is 2. But 1 is not included. So this guy, it is 2. And less than equal to 1, it is less than equal to 1, it is 3. So 3 is with this part. This guy is so if you see this graph, if you want to plot, you have to lift your pain because if you start from here, you reach here, there is a break here. You have to lift your pain and then only you can get this graph. So such kind of graph where you have to lift the pain is called non-continuous. And the graph which you can plot without lifting the pen is called continuous graph. Please note. The graph which we can plot without lifting the pen is called continuous graph and the graph for which you have to lift the pen is called non-continuous graph. And the point where you have to lift the pen actually this point is called point of discontinuity. We will discuss that but just I am trying to introduce this by telling you bigger picture. Continuous means you can plot the graph without lifting the pen. Non-continuous men or discontinuous men, you have to lift the pen. And the place where you have to lift the pen, for example, in this case, at the point 1, we lift the pen, or there is a break at point 1. So that point is called point of discontinuity. Very easy to remember. Continuous means continuous, you can go without lifting the pen. Non-continuous means you have to break somewhere. That's the mathematical meaning. So let's go for the mathematical definition of continuity. The mathematical definition says let f be a real function and c be a point on the domain of f. Then f is continuous at c if the limit of function fx where x tend to c is equal to fc. I'll explain this. So let's take the same example. If I take y is equal to x. Now, what I'm saying is, if any point of it, any point, let's suppose this my point is 1, 1, 1, comma 1. So at this point, if my left hand limit, if my left hand limit and right hand limit are equal or I can say left hand limit is equal to right hand limit is equal to value of that function at point C then I can say at that particular point the function is continuous. In this case if you see the left hand limit left hand limit is nothing but approaching the function from the left that is very 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 small number less than one that is maybe 0.9999 so that will be the left hand limit that is f of 0.9999 because 
my point C is 1 here. So a number, just a minute difference from 1 on the left hand side is this guy. Right limit will be number 1 plus 0 0.001 that is let, let's suppose this, this number. If these both are equal to f of 1 in this case I can say that my function is continuous at 1. So if you know want to know more about the left hand limit, the right hand limit, you can watch the video on class 11 limits in continuity chapter. There we have explained properly how to find the left hand limit, right hand limit and find whether uh, the limit exists or not. So in this case it says the limit exists that means the left hand limit is equal to right hand limit by default. So this is this is implicit. When I say limit of this function exists at x equal to c, that means the left hand limit and the right hand limit at c is equal. And if that is equal to fc, that means the number is continuous. One more example, the same graph, let's, let's, let's have this kind of function where you say that uh, fx is equal to fx is equal to let's suppose 3 for any number where no, uh, x is not equal to uh, 0 and fx is equal to 0 at x equal to 0. So in this case at or oh, let's suppose yeah let's suppose you no know, instead of 0 since 0 is already there let's suppose it is 2. So for x is equal to 2 also I have I don't want to create hodgepodge here. So let me take minus 1, 2, 3, minus 3. Yeah. So for x not equal to minus 3, minus 3, this guy is always 3. So the function is like this. At, at x is equal to minus 3, this is the value. And apart from that, the value is like this. This will be the function, this will be the graph actually. So fx is equal to 3 always where x is not equal to minus 3 and when x is equal to minus 3 this guy becomes 0. Now if you see this graph and I want to find whether this guy is continuous at minus 3 or not. So if you take a value that is a very on left hand side of minus 3 that is f of minus 3.0001. This guy is the left hand side of minus 3. And what is the value of right hand side of minus 3? f of sorry this becomes minus yeah minus 3 plus something that becomes minus 2.99994 right this guy is 2.999 minus and this guy is minus 3.001 so if these both guys are equal so here in this case both are equal that is 3 right then I can say limit exists. But in that case, my limit of fx for x is less than 3. This guy comes out to be 3. Correct? Why 3? Because both are equal to 3. But that guy should also be equal to f of 3. So in my case, f of minus 3 is what? 0. But 3 is not equal to 0. So in this case, in this case, the limit exists, correct, limit exists, but that guy is not equal to f of c. So I can say that at this point, at this point, at x is equal to minus 3, my equation is not continuous. Please note, for an equation to be continuous, at point C, if I assume I, I have a function, real value function, then limit fx where x tend to C should be equal to f of C. This is a mantra, please remember this. Limit x tend to C of fx is equal to f of C. Please note, as I told again, if the function is not continuous at x equal to C, we say that the function is discontinuous and c and c is called point of discontinuity. Please note c is called point of discontinuity. Please remember this formula. For a function to be continuous at a particular point p, 
one thing is confirmed here continuity and all is defined for a point t a function may be discontinuous at 3 point 1 point 5 point 6 points it it can be discontinuous at n points also so when i'm talking about discontinuity i'm talking about a point at which it is discontinuous so that's how it is so to prove a function to be continuous limit let me read once again fx at point c if a function is continuous fx limit extend to c should be equal to f of c so when i say this one that means the limit should exist and that limit should be equal to f of c if that is true then only the function is continuous for example in this case i told here f of 1 was equal to limit x tends to 1 for fx but in this case limit x tends to minus 3 for fx was not equal to f of minus 3 f of minus 3 is 0 and the limit value is 3 thank you visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos try free online tests get the best quality study materials study from the best tutors and mentors and much more thanks once again